Can you see this? These are blowing everywhere. Um, they... Oh. <laughs> Camera's in reverse. They are from the cottonwoods. And there's cottonwood fluff everywhere right now. Anyways, uh, welcome to Subs Week on the Pagan Perspective. I'm Yaka, and I'm your Friday substitute host. So this week our topic um, comes from an individual who is calling... <laughs> comes from an individual who is not calling, who wrote in, excuse me, to say, to talk about or ask about their sister. And they say that their sister, who's about 15, has all of these different abilities that they've observed. Um, and... I'm going to just post that below so you can read the details of it yourself. You've probably heard it from the previous videos already. Um, and get right into the specific questions about it. Uh, she asks, is she, her sister, an indigo child, a crystal child, a witch, you know, etc. And what would you recommend that she do to cultivate her power? So my first advice is to forget about and ignore the titles and those names of the indigo child or crystal child or whatever. Don't worry about that because there is a very strong potential of getting mixed up with these ideas of, of these very specific things that she has to be or that it has to be this way. And to be honest, with a lot of things like indigo child, I think that it's kind of a lot of it stems from very wishful and romantic thinking on some of the older generations part who really want some sort of savior type of figure and I think that the indigo child thing is is, um, is really a reflection of that not to say that there are not individuals who have some sort of connection or some sort of abilities that we don't know how to explain yet but really my, my my advice is to let that go um, and look at practices that are going to be helpful, that are going to be the important central practices, um, independent of whether she does or does not have uh, additional or superior abilities in these areas to other people. And so those types of things would be the going to the basic because we like to often skip over the basics because we understand what they are intellectually but we may not really have a good grasp on them in in actual practice or we really need to keep going back to them so having her practice meditation really learn meditation learn grounding um, learn visualization techniques and how to really be aware of her own um, feelings, her own presence in the world and relationship to other people. To maybe look at some sorts of um, visualization text techniques or things that can help her to separate herself when she needs to from other people because it sounds like she's very empathic. Um, and sometimes that can be very, very overwhelming. So. Focus on meditation, focus on grounding, focus on self-reflection. And if there are specific topics that seem like she has a specific interest in or strength in, to explore those specific topics. But don't worry about trying to fit into a category, that a pre-creative category like Crystal Child or Nico Child. Uh, the second thing that this viewer asked was also do you know what constant deja vu means um no <laughs> i don't um is this something that i experience very often when i do it's really trippy um you know i many people i think have experienced it and it's, it feels really intense i don't know what causes it i don't know how much research there has been into what it causes what does it mean um i'm not sure if i believe in uh, what does it mean. I think I might believe in a what causes it. Uh, it's something I, I, I encounter in dreams, having reoccurring dreams in that sense of, um, of having experienced something before. But 
I would say just pay attention. If that's something that you're experiencing, just know what's going on around it. And some of the previous hosts had some weird suggestions about that. But honestly, it's not something that I have much experience with and it's not something that I've really read about. So I would encourage you to, if it's something that's happening in your life, to get online and check it out. Um, see what research has been done. See, you know, if there are different books about it and, you know, judge that for yourself. So, all right. Um, hope you all have a wonderful weekend and take care.